Here we have a new 2023 Chevrolet Bolt EUV. This one comes in the LT trim level in gray ghost metallic. And then we have jet black cloth interior. And for the powertrain, we get a front mounted electric motor. And that's made it to a 65 kilowatt hour liquid cooled battery. And I think DC fast charge speed gets you around 50 to 55 kilowatts max charge speed there. But to the front end, LED headlamps, LED daytime running lights. Love, love the front end there. It just looks so futuristic. And I love the blacked out badging on this one in particular. Just looks good. Very little black plastic that's sticking out to me. And as I look at this, it's, it's interesting how they did the Bolt and then the Bolt EUV in my opinion, just because of the different sizes comparing it to maybe a Leaf and then a Mustang Mach-E. It's just, it's in a weird section in my opinion. But we have 17 inch aluminum wheels here. And I like that these aren't necessarily eco-friendly looking. They look like they belong on a on a car. And then there is the charge port there. And then we can DC fast charge when we fold that down. Passive keyless entry on the front doors. And then the door panel here, power door lock controls. One touch automatic up and down for the front, express down for the back, rear window lock there, power mirror controls. We can toggle those on or off and adjust using the dial here either side bottle holder storage and then we do have blind spot monitors in this one i think that's part of the driver confidence package but i'll show you all the window sticker momentarily headlamp controls hood release storage underneath the shifter and then we have the power driver seat with two-way power lumbar support but i have that seat up front adjusted for some of my size how i like to drive being 6'3 with longer legs so before we check out the rear leg room, huge shout out to Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro for letting me review this Bolt EUV today. I'll leave a link below in the description if you're all interested in purchasing this one. And the cool thing about this is you do get that full $7,500 EV tax credit when applicable. Well, let's check out this rear seat space. It already looks impressive getting in here. So pretty great headroom. I only have about an inch or two of space and it kind of, as you can see, it's like a, kind of like a half oval. I don't even know how to describe that. It's kind of um, curved. I mean, that's what I was, the word I was looking for, excuse me. So where it's curved there, it's kind of weird, but for the most part, I mean, the headroom is impressive when you're actually sitting straight up. Again, when I'm sitting straight, I still have about an inch or so. And look at this leg room, just awesome. Now I notice we don't have any seat back pockets on the back, so that's kind of a bust and we don't have a fold down seat, but okay. USB-C, USB-A charge port. And I really don't know why I'm tripping because I would never use this in my car, but people who are used to having that might be like, whoa, are they kidding me? But grab handle here, we could probably put two plastic hanger hooks. We can squeeze it on there and then a couple metal hanger hooks on there as well. But I'm really just impressed with the space back here and just, the price point of this car, honestly. There's a rear end there. Again, it's part of that driver confidence package. We do get the rear park assist. Manual lift gate. And here's the charger here. So. And there's the box here. You can have an electrician wire this if you want to have one actually wired to your home. But here is the actual charge port and this will run off. All you need is a dryer plug pretty much. And you can plug that right in. And you can charge your car overnight from empty. Space underneath there. And another great thing about these is just walking around this, giving it a tour, the car is fully on, but it's just silent. <laughs> Pull the lever here. You can fold that seat flat, run longer objects, and just make sure the seat belt's out of the way. Snap it back into place. And then to the front passenger side, I like that it's still I want to say it's a six-way seat, but it's manual. So seat back, and then we can pump the seat up or down, and then we can move the seat back or forth right there. 
glove compartment, owner's manuals. And now let's go ahead and take a look underneath the hood here. And there's a front mounted motor, everything that goes in there. Just an interesting sight where you're used to having maybe a, just a regular engine in there. But now let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So love the leather wrap steering wheel here. We can heat that, like the horn as well. Doesn't sound wimpy like I might expect on a, a Chevy Bolt. So good job there. Love the flat bottom steering wheel. Again, that leather feels very nice. To the screen here, we do get AM, FM, XM along with Bluetooth audio. We also have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto compatibility. Love the energy map here so we can see our battery power, the flow of energy. And then it's very easy to just get to the charging set up here and it'll show you what it would be complete at if you're charging at level two and then when you're charged or when you're plugged in what your actual power curve is there so pretty neat stuff and the system itself on the screen is very quick you can adjust language connect your bluetooth device and watch it through once you say add phone so yeah just really impressive and the apps are here and then your vehicle settings you can toggle your rear seat reminder team driver valet mode <clears throat> and then we do have single zone automatic climate control so we can adjust the temperature and then decide if we want to have it at auto for fan direction or auto for fan speed as well heat toggle is there if you want to go ahead and uh, maximize your energy range and you don't want to have the heat on you can do that and we have the buttons and knobs down here for that along with the three-stage heated seats for the driver front passenger and then all those buttons as well and there's a whole system on and off right there. Backup cameras there, guidelines follow you to turn the steering wheel. And then wireless charging pad back in here. And that's a nice touch for this price point, especially as I've seen some other things get cut out for cost. I'm glad they still kept that. And then we have a 12 volt. Again, I don't know if that's part of that package or not, I already forgot. And then we have a USB-C, USB-A port there and we can run the the charger as well as run that through wired CarPlay Android Auto if we want to. <clears throat> Sport mode toggle is there. Traction control, lane keep assist with lane departure. And then for the shifter, press P for park, pull up here for reverse, press N for neutral, pull up for drive. And then you can toggle that one pedal driving on and off right there. Electronic parking brake, pull up to engage, hit the brake, press down to disengage. Bottle holders here. Center console cubby space. And there's a look at the back seat from up here. Vanity mirror. And then when you're not in one pedal drive mode, you can toggle your regen by clicking that there. But cruise control is there, it's just standard on or off, cancel, set, resume. For a collision alert, we can adjust the gap there. Mute button, voice recognition, and then we can use this as a scroll bar and also as an enter button. But we also, I like how this is set up first and foremost. We can go through here and actually adjust units. Everything that you'd expect from an actual gauge cluster, like in my mach -E, I can't do any of this stuff. In front of me, it has to be on the screen. So I'm glad that you can still go through here and kind of adjust certain things without everything having to be on the screen. So it's just nice, I can scroll through all this and have what I want up, tire pressure sensors and whatnot. And then blinkers on the left side. When the auto lights are on, you can toggle your automatic high beams there. And then you can just toggle the high beams there, flash there. And then windshield wiper controls are here. One time off, intermittent low, high. And then adjust your intermittent wiper here. Rear wiper is there. Pull back for the rear wiper fluid. Push up for the front wiper fluid. And then behind the steering wheel on the left side, you can adjust your track list. Or radio station favorites and then behind on the right side you can adjust volume up or down forgot to mention the volume knob you can click there to mute and then hold it to power it down and this is a tune knob or you can also use it as a, a scroll knob to go through the actual screen there one more close up there push button start 
Finally, here's the key fob with remote start. And now for the fun part, let's go ahead and take this 2023 Bolt EUV out on the road for a test drive.